Hi guys, Mike Eccles here. I'm a former cyber security director at the Department of Homeland Security. And what I want to talk to you about is risk management in cybersecurity around IT environments. By understanding risk management, you enable an organization to better protect itself. You can reduce reputational loss, reduce financial loss, and those types of things. So by understanding risk and being able to do risk assessments, you will bring value to an organization, thus making you more valuable and improving your career opportunities. So the first thing you need to know about risk is that the formula to understand your risk is vulnerabilities times threats times consequences. So vulnerabilities are those holes in your system. Next is threats. Threats is what someone can do to you or what can happen to you. And lastly, consequences. Consequences are the aftermath or the effect of the things that occur. Now, what can we do once we understand risk? Well, there's several things. The first is you can transfer risk. You can get insurance. This is typically how people transfer risk. Thus, the insurance company takes on some of the risk. Next, you can buy down risk. If you know that uh, there is a potential of someone coming into your uh, perimeter, then you can put up fences. Or in IT or cyber, you would put up firewalls. You can hire very expensive risk managers or cybersecurity people. That's buying down risk. Next, you can avoid risk. If you are planning an activity that you already know could lead to bad consequences, then you will potentially implement another technology or go a different direction with less known risk. And then lastly, you can mitigate risk. And what we mean by that is you can take actions or put protections in place so that the consequences, should something occur, are minimal. And those are the ways that we manage or deal with risk once we understand it. So what is cybersecurity risk management? Well, rather than doors, locks, vaults, IT departments rely on a combination of strategies, technologies, and education to protect their enterprise against cyber attacks that can compromise their system or cause them to lose data, in some cases, to lose money. So cybersecurity risk management takes this idea to a real world risk management and application set of processes. It involves identifying the risk, understanding the vulnerabilities, those holes that we talked about, applying administrative actions, and comprehensive solutions to make sure the organization is adequately protected. This includes measuring your action to see if it had the effect that you wanted it to, whether that action involved transferring the risk, avoiding the risk, buying down the risk, or minimizing the risk. So I hope that helps you understand risk management a little bit. This is lesson one. In lesson two, we'll start to understand what each of those principles actually means. This is Mike Eccles, and thank you for joining me, and I'll talk to you soon.